potentially if history was to repeat yeah then it could put it in that case at what 250,000 look that's for the mega balls hello everyone alessia ristani is joined by bitcoin and traditional stocks trader Charlie Burton to analyze the latest Bitcoin price surge, its merits and demerits, and concludes with what to expect in the near term. Subscribe now, hit that bell icon, and embark on an enriching journey toward financial success. Let's unlock the potential of these markets together and pave the way for a brighter financial future. Welcome aboard. So Charlie, look, some months ago, I think it was last year, actually, here, here's, the, here's the interesting part. You were bullish last year, I was bullish last year, while most people, again, most analysts and YouTubers were bearish. In fact, you may recall, uh, and I put this out, uh, our viewers will probably know this. In October of last year, I put out a video, a member's video, where I was calling for 50K, 40K, and 50K on Bitcoin. I'll put the cliff here so people can see it. All we're waiting for is an indication, confirmation of the wars, that the C wave of the wave two has bottomed out. And as I, as I discussed, what I would require is a move above. 27,700 and 28,185, a move and a close above 27,700 and follow through above 28,185 would give us a strong probability that the, that the C wave of the wave two has bottomed and that we're starting the next, the next major wave three to much higher levels towards 32,600 and yes, likely towards this level here for the wave three. My wave three target at a minimum is about 40K just under 40K, about 39K. But I think there's a potential we may move to 40K and eventually 50K. 50K is just about here. So that is my higher probability expectation and perspective for Bitcoin. Now, as Bitcoin uh, started to bottom out uh, in recent months, back in January, I also called for the next key target to be reached in the 53K to 57K levels, which also got reached quite recently as well. I'll put a clip there as well so people can see it. I'm looking for this bounce on rally to continue to higher levels in the 50K to 53 to 57K levels. I think the odds are looking good. The odds are looking higher for a move uh, to eventually towards that level that I mentioned, either towards all time highs or the minimum towards these levels here, towards 53,500 to 57K, and yes, potentially towards all time highs. Okay, so now we reached these several targets. Now, one thing I didn't expect uh, was for the market to go so quickly, so fast through 57,500. I thought we could pause there. I did, obviously I didn't get that part right, but Bitcoin has now pushed strongly through 57,500, the 78.6% Fibonacci uh, retracement level. So we now closed above that level. We're not far away now from the all time highs. So it seems perhaps Charlie, this no brainer that we could reach all time highs very soon. What's your view, Charlie? I wanna get your opinion. Yeah, I, I think if we had a lot of euphoria right now, outside of the crypto community, so you've got the masses who dip their toe in the water, come and go, you know, the weak hands, as we call them. If they were all on board right now, I'd be a lot more concerned towards Bitcoin, but they're not. And uh, so that pessimism, that disbelief that, oh, no, this has happened before and I've oh. got in and then it's rolled over, you know, amongst that that crowd um they're still not all fully in uh, yet yet mm -hmm. so from a sentiment perspective certainly there's there's plenty of scope uh for bitcoin as well so i think the the recipe is there the the wall of worry is there that there's there's disbelievers still and yeah. i think all the time you have disbelievers that's a good sign it's when everybody's all in that's when we start getting worried Exactly. Uh, one warning signal I saw, I think it was 2022 or 2021, I can't recall, but there were television programs abroad. The, the, the TV program was called, Can You Become Rich Through Crypto? Can You Become Mega Wealthy and Rich Through uh, Bitcoin and things like that? And when you see TV programs talking about that, you know, that's a huge warning sign. You were saying, I, I'd rather you talk about it, that there's another warning sign that you look for. What is that, Charlie? Oh, well, uh, just when friends start phoning me up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously, that's a very localized level, but yeah. we can use this. We, I can use, there's a friend of mine who runs a, a large uh, car dealership. It's a BMW car dealership. So he's got, you know, I don't know, 
150 members of staff. And I remember before in 2021, he said, I can walk onto the shop floor, or into the engineering yes. department. Um, and he said, when people are in their breaks, they're all on their phones and they're buying cryptocurrencies. And that to me was a, a big warning that if your average Joe, no disrespect to them, but if your average person in their work breaks is like buying and whatever, yeah. then you know that you're getting, you know, that's a warning sign. I'm not, I've not heard from Leon as yet on any of this. So I think we're safe for the time being. And I'm, I'm a bull like yourself overall for Bitcoin still at the moment. Um, and yeah. much of that is due to, I think the market backdrop uh, from a sentiment perspective, and where we are, I do think that following the ETF launch in January, uh, the fact that you know we've broken higher, I think, is a really solid, strong sign. Let's go on to the charts if you have any particular charts you want to look at. This is quite interesting. So this is just looking at the halving. So we're just coming up to the, the halving in April, the next halving. But for the book, this is one for the for the mega balls <laughs> in the in the halving um coming up to 2012 post the halving bitcoin yeah. rose if we just take it from here sort of fivefold um uh, to 2016 it rose fivefold um post 2020 it rose well roughly fivefold maybe a bit more so the question mark is if it went fivefold from 20 in 20 from 24 that would put it at you know 250,000. So there you go. That's one for the ball, the, the mega balls <laughs> out there. I just right. thought I'd bring that chart up there because uh, just to look at the history there of uh, of Bitcoin. So that chart is showing a potential for a, a five-fold movement. Well, it's, it's just showing what has happened post right, right, the previous right. halvings that Bitcoin has risen, let's say roughly, depending on where you want to take it from, but let's say five-fold um, from you know, when it was back at, at 20 back here, when it was, um, yeah. uh, then it was wherever it was at a thousand, that was 20 bucks back there, uh, a thousand. Then when it broke up from roughly 10,000 or so, and then if we take it from roughly 50,000 where it's been just recently, um, then potentially <laughs> if history was to repeat, yeah, then it could put it in that case, at, what, 250,000? Look, that's for the mega balls, and right. um, and there's plenty of mega balls out there, as we know. So, um, but I just yeah. thought I'd put it up there just as a yeah, as, as an interesting chart. The question I want to ask you, Charlie, before we go on to Ethereum, is as a matter of fact, you did say in a video that we did together, um, I think it was uh, autumn, autumn of last year. You did mention that you're expecting a move to all time highs. Do you see beyond all time highs to 100k? That's I think that's the question people are having in their minds right now. I think it's more than achievable. I think that when a cryptocurrency, you know, the cryptocurrency Bitcoin historically, when it's really got moving yeah. in a in a full full blown bull market like it's in right now, then um the expansion of the ranges can really expand. And so yeah. um the potential to go to uh, to not not just all time highs, but to that big round number big psychological level 100,000 i think is it's doable i mean it does depend on the sentiment backdrop because i think if the sentiment got really euphoric at 80,000 then then maybe not it, it could top off but um but i think the the ingredients are there for a run to six figures in 2024 yeah i can see the potential for that Charlie, let's go on now to the next chart which is ethereum I think uh, Ethereum is a, is a. I've got a weekly chart of Ethereum up here. I think it's a very similar story, very similar backdrop, really, yeah. to to Bitcoin. What very often happens is when when they're running like this, Bitcoin maybe is has led led a little bit stronger, and then if Bitcoin starts to consolidate, we may see then leadership continue with uh, with Ethereum there. Uh, looking at the weekly chart, um, there's plenty of scope here. Obviously, it's all-time highs up at, let's call it, 4,800. It's still got a fair run to go, uh, whereas mm -hmm. Bitcoin is already you know, much, much closer, really close, only you know, in relative terms, a few thousand dollars away. Yeah, again, if you're bullish on Bitcoin, you've got to be bullish on Ethereum as well, haven't you? Yeah. So... We are actually we are getting very close to the resistance, are we not? Thirty six hundred. Um, yeah, that's going to be the prior high we made in 
2000 spring of 2022 yeah uh what's your um expectation on that i mean we we take that out would that open the door to well where would yeah. be your next target i guess um, um yeah it's i think it's fairly straightforward at the moment i do agree that's a near term it, it, it's an obvious near term resistance zone at that, around that 36 um 100 dollar area bitcoin could do, go to new all time highs in one day at the ranges it's doing at the moment yeah, yeah. It's, it's a days range or so where yes. you could easily do it in a day um whereas um ethereum's obviously a, a bit further away from its all time highs but this high could it could that create some resistance absolutely uh, again ethereum's had a very very good vertical run here but I would see if it did stall out around this area, around 3,600 and then do a bit of a pullback, I would still see it as bullish for ultimately yeah. a, a run, a break higher, because um, I just think that's that's the, the modality that the, the, the crypto market is in right now. And I'm not really expecting any major potential reversals until we get well into 2025. Thank you for watching the interview highlights of Charlie Burton. If you enjoy this highlight video, please kindly subscribe and help share this video for us to share more of this valuable content. Thank you.